here we are. It's uh, November 3rd. Headed to uh, Ohio. Down to uh, hunt with Matt Scott for uh, late muzzleloader season. Um, it's uh, the day after, uh, I guess they call it Winter Storm Hercules. Uh, just got slammed here in New York yesterday. Uh, foot of snow and frigid temperatures. Um, it was five below when I left the house this morning. I was actually going to leave yesterday and uh, just decided to let the roads clear a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit better today. Still not great. Um, 200 miles into the trip, and had it four-wheel drive the whole time. But, uh, that's what we got to do sometimes. To chase your passion. Should be a good, good uh, weekend of hunting. You got some cold weather and snow in Ohio as well, so that the deer should be on their feet and hungry. But, uh, we'll keep you updated here and. Uh, Talk to you soon. All right, here we are. It's the uh, last night of my Ohio muzzleloader hunt. And, uh, it's uh, January 6th, 2013. Uh, it's been a tough weekend to say the least with uh, weather-wise. We've had uh, everything from warm rain to uh, we got wind chill 35 below right now. It's uh, actual temperature 10 below. Had to fight a snowstorm to get out here, and uh, we got icy roads today. We had pouring rain last night and 35 degrees, so it's just uh, it's been a wacky weekend weather-wise. Uh, it's kind of got the deer a little screwed up too. Normally this time of year they they feed pretty regular every night, and uh, we're sitting over a hundred-acre corn cut cornfield, and uh, we saw. A lot of deer first couple nights, a uh, few shooter bucks, nothing within distance. Passed up a couple small uh, eight points. But um, I said tonight's the last night, so if a uh, decent looking buck comes in, we're going to have to see what we can do to fill a tag. As you can see, it's cold.
ready. Ken is getting ready to tank his first Ohio buck. And we are going to be getting to watch it live action here. Live action. It's uh, November 7th, got a nice uh, 10 pointer down in Ohio last night, late muzzleloader season. And we're just uh, still a little cold here, so we're trying to get It's only get minus him, 10 right now. Trying to get him just taken care of and get him in a truck back to New York. <laughs> That's the buck we had pictures of here for. Last couple weeks out here. Digging through the pile of ones from last year and found his uh, right side from last year out shed hunting. I think he's got it laying over there in the, in the truck, don't you? Yep. Where's it? There's his, his antler from last year when he was a two year old. And, uh, mass and he didn't sprout much length and time much more but he's got a lot more mass and a little longer beam. Always nice when they come together and nice to have a little history. You got a shed and uh, we got some pictures, covert scouting camera pictures and uh, makes it even better. Good hunt with good friends and a good buck and the result. That's how we do it. Team OCD. <laughs> January 7th, heading back to New York after a uh, late muzzleloader hunt out in southwest Ohio with a good friend of mine, Matt Scott. And uh, we're heading back with a buck in the back of the truck. That's always nice to do that. We were able to put our tag on a nice 10 pointer last night at uh, about the last half an hour of our hunt, or the last day of, uh, of my uh, Ohio muzzleloader hunt this year. We uh, finally got lucky. Everything aligned and came together, and uh, we tagged a nice buck. Uh, it's actually, uh, it's kind of cool. We uh, we've had the covert uh, covert black ops camera out in Ohio for a few weeks now, and, and we've been getting uh, text pictures to our phone and back in New York for the last two or three weeks, and actually have quite a few pictures of the same ten point. So it's uh, makes it that much sweeter. We got a little history with this buck and uh, the covert scouting cameras definitely help us out with that. Um, when you're able to scout 600 miles away, um, get a live feed of, of where you're on a hunt, man, that makes, it sure makes a lot of difference and uh, it's priceless information. So, uh, yeah, we're heading back to New York and uh, this is the end of, this is the end of my deer season for uh, 2013. It started way back in mid-September uh, down in Kentucky with a good friend down there and then uh, we rolled in the New York bow season. Uh, we 
did Ohio shotgun season this year. We did uh, New York gun season, New York mouse loader season. And, uh, this is actually the first buck we've put a tag on this year. It was uh, Ohio late mouse loader. Man, it was worth it. He's, he's a beauty. Um, signing off for now. Team OCD, this is how we do it.